When you apply for the job that requires Excel skills, a lot of times employers are looking to test your skills to make sure you know what you're talking about. In this video, we're going to look at the type of questions that are asked during the interview tests, and I will help you create a strategies and learn how to pass those tests. First, we're going to look at the three types of questions that are used during Excel interview. We're looking at the multiple choice question. And in this question, you have a question, obviously, and then you have multiple answers. And only one of these answers is valid. So we have answers A through E. And um, the question is which Excel function you can use to calculate total amount of orders shipped in November. To answer multiple choice question, it typically helps to use exclusion. And use exclusion means that you try to understand which functions or which answers are not a valid answers for this specific situation. So let's look at this question in more details. In order for us to calculate uh, amount of orders shipped in November, and you see total amount of orders shipped in November. So we are looking at column D, which represents amount, and we need to calculate total uh, and only total specific to November orders. So basically total that will cover this area. Now we can just, as a human, we know uh, that what the answer would be, but they are looking for us to use formula and or function, right? Which uh, here this term used um, interchangeably. So some function um, is not the right function because some can only calculate values for the entire column. Some does not have any conditions that you can include to use. And since we're being asked to only include orders shipped in November, that some is not the right choice. Now, some if s is the right answer, but let's see how we can get here. Um, sum if else is not a right choice because um, this function doesn't exist. Total functions that doesn't exist and total if doesn't exist. So basically this leaves us with answer B. But now let's not just answer the question, let's also see how we can use this function to actually calculate this, which is not asked uh, typically during Excel for multiple choice question. You only ask to select. But in order for you to understand what sum if s function does, let's use it in practice, which is one of the best ways to memorize the answer. So let's pick a cell. I'll pick this cell, maybe uh, G7, and here we will actually enter the function. Sum if s, that's the function. Then we open parentheses, and here we select the range for um, the calculation that we'll use for calculation. Our range will be um, D2 through D10. And a lot of times we use formulas for much bigger size Excel document. This is uh, more for educational and for learning, but imagine that you will have thousands of uh, columns I'm sorry, and thousands of rows here, and that's where this formula would be more applicable to do more of the automatic calculations. Here it's easy to do it manually, and we're just testing the skills and knowledge, but um, in real life uh, we definitely would rely on formula to do more of this calc. So first we select this uh, sum range, then we select where range for the conditions or criteria range, which in our case is the uh, dates, because we are looking for the orders shipped in November. Our condition range will be E2 through E10, and then we will have two criteria. Uh, we only required enter one criteria, Criteria, but we can't survive with just one criteria. To do it uh, for uh, November, we need to get all the dates that greater the last day in October, but less than uh, first day in December. So now we need to enter the uh, criteria for the condition range that we have criteria range. So now we need to enter criteria one for the criteria range. And criteria one is going to be um, greater than uh, last day in October. So to do that, we will say greater than 10, 31, uh, 2018. And now we need to do second criteria. And second criteria will consist of criteria range and criteria itself. So criteria range remains the same. Second criteria will be different because now we need to say that it also should be less than first day in December. So less than 12, 1, uh, 2018. Let's close double quotes, let's close parenthesis. And we've calculated the range, I'm sorry, the total amount of orders shipped in November, which is $854.99. Let's do it manually. So we know that this is only two rows. So to do that manually, we can just say equals, and then we just add two values, D7 plus D8. And we end up with the same amounts. Now let's continue and look at the second type of question that being asked during uh, the Excel interview test. 
And the second type is the true false question. The question here is this formula will extract user ID from the email address and user ID is the part of the email located before the at symbol. So let's look at the email address. So what the question is talking about, how could you extract this part or this part of the email, right? Brittany Cawthron at tridenta.com, for example, using formulas. And the specifically question is asking, is this formula correct? assuming that um, it will extract this particular value. This is user ID and this is domain name of the email address, right? Tridenta.com is domain, then this is the separation at symbol and this is the user ID. The answer is true, uh, but let's verify this. Um, and to verify it, we need to actually enter this formula. So let's uh, enter it, uh, which we would say equal uh, left formula. Left formula actually extracts values from a specific uh, cell based on the condition and the separator symbol that we So let's use the formula actually to extract user ID here. Um, and to use the formula, we will enter left, open parenthesis. Um, we will say that this is the cell where we're extracting user ID. Then we can duplicate our find formula and say, okay, we're looking for the add symbol and uh, we are looking for the same cell, C5. Close the parenthesis and we subtract one here. And you see that it correctly extracted um, Lenny Candanoza from this email address. Another type of question asked during Excel interview is the multiple answer question. In this question, you need to select all answers that apply. So for example, select which option you can use to split user ID from domain name in column C. User ID is the text to the left of the at symbol and domain name is the text to the right of the at symbol. So for example, we looking at the column C and there's a set of regular emails in the column C. And then this email, they call user ID this part and this would be domain name. And we need to split both of those with the separator being the at symbol. So what are the methods we could use to split? And we need to select all that apply. The best way to answer multiple answer question is through the exclusion. To find the right answers, it's a little trickier than just in multiple choice because in multiple choice, there's only one right answer. Here, there might be more than one right answer. So that requires you to use um, most of your knowledge that you have around Excel. Let's look at the answers in more details. First option is use combination of left, right, and find formulas. Left formula used to extract text from the left so combination of left and find can help us extract user ID, uh, which is to the left of the add symbol. Combination of right and find formula can help us extract domain name, uh, which would be to the right of the add symbol. So definitely this is a right answer and it should be selected. Next option is use text to column feature of Microsoft Excel. Let's look how you can use text to column. This is also the right choice here, the right option. And to do that, we need to go to the select the values of the column C. Then we need to look, um, go to the data tab. And in the data tab, we look at the text to columns feature. So that's the valid feature, of Microsoft Excel. Let's click on this option. And here uh, we are asked, how do we want to separate and split columns? And see the option here we selected is convert text to columns. So we can convert it to multiple columns. We need to basically say, okay, from one column, we'll be creating multiple columns. We just need to identify the separator. And separator in our case would be the at symbol. So we will say it's delimited because fixed width would mean that um, all the values are of the same size, which is not true in case of emails. So delimited is the right choice here. Here we will say um, the other symbol uh, and we will exclude the tab and other symbol would be at because that our separator and then you see it already separated it for us um, so we have the user id and then email second user id and then email so this matches exactly the values that we have in column c let's click next option and then what is the type of the value uh, that we will be assigned we can leave it as general or we can say okay this is going to be text and this is also going to be text because we know those are the text values. And then we click finish option and it tells me data is already there. Do you want to uh, replace it? So if I choose that, if I choose the option to replace it, it will delete the values of email and it will also uh, delete the values of usernames, which is, by the way, not correct because it shows the 
totals here so I think it's okay for us just for demo purposes we will end up with two columns because uh, we are splitting email into two values so I'm gonna click OK and you see that it's separated email into the two columns one would be user ID another one is domain name user ID domain name so we can rename them and say this would be user ID now and this would be domain name and that is a second option so now we've learned that there are two answers uh, that are correct let's look at the other answers here on the list to see if they are accurate and should be selected answering this question the third one is use split email functionality this functionality doesn't exist so this is not an accurate option how do I know one of the ways to quickly find out is obviously you can do Google search you can also do search inside Excel and say split email and nothing shows up um, same with extract domain functionality this is non-existent functionality very specific Excel is typically has generic functions or generic functionalities and then delimit cells also is not an existent functionality so the correct answers to this questions are a and b or choices one or two if you like the content please make sure to click the like button and share with your friends also there's tons of information in the description of this video make sure to check it out make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my youtube channel we have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and i don't want you to miss any of it and if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.